there everyone happy friday and welcome to the performance bike scoop this is the fridays from the field edition from the field meaning not in our white studio for our broadcast that typically happens on wednesdays at 3 p.m so if you are just seeing this for the first time bike scoop does happen every wednesday at 3 p.m tune in every week for whatever the topic of the week may be today though we're joined by mark from our product development team mark thanks for joining us sure glad to be here yeah man and um today we're talking about the Marin Wolfridge 9 um, and kind of our first impressions of the bike and specifically Mark's first impressions of the bike. So before we jump into those details, Mark, how long have you been riding bikes? Um, 40 plus years. Forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how many bikes would you say that you, how many mountain bikes would you say that you've owned? Um, I don't really keep track. Hundreds? Too many. Uh, not hundreds, but a lot. Oh, a whole, a whole <laughs> lot. Um, so just for you guys just tuning in, Mark is one of our many in-house shredders, uh, one of our product experts. He's also a product developer here. He's been in the industry forever. Why don't you just real quick talk about what you do on the product development side? Sure. So my job here at Performance is to work on our house brand goods. Um, we have products across categories. Uh, I don't do clothing, but I do a lot of components and accessories. Um, these Convert Mag SL pedals are pedals that I worked on. They're pretty awesome. Um, Lots of fun stuff, so keeps me busy and um, keeps uh, good, good, affordable products for you guys to buy out there. Yeah, awesome stuff. It's you know all product tested here in house, uh, developed over a long period of time. But anyway, let's talk about this awesome bike. So, sure. all right, this is a Marin Wolf Ridge Nine. We first got our eyes on it, kind of heard about it about a year ago. It came out um, to start, you know, getting first impressions and ride reviews over the summer. Um, you've how long have you been spending? spin on this bike a couple Just, months on it yeah but really not even that much it's it's still pretty fresh gotcha we uh, saw it at um at interbike when we were out there and then we've got this one here um that that mark's been riding so why don't you tell us real quick about the suspension design because i think that's like the first thing you look at a lot of bikes you know a lot of mountain bikes the subtlety there's a lot of different subtleties they're going to all ride different they're going to have different head tube angles but at the end of the day a lot of them are two triangles two circles you know and some straight lines sure and you look at this thing you're like whoa wait a minute this is totally different yeah so, it's pretty radical looking yeah what is different about this bike that makes it so unique um well visually you know you have instead of having a rear triangle and a front triangle you have a pretty standard front triangle and then you have like a swing arm in the back um the reason for that is not just so it looks different the way that the suspension is designed it kind of requires that you have a, a single big uh member in the rear that the um there's a, a large stanchion and this housed in here that the swing arm slides sl slides on sort of vertically or semi-vertically. And then that's connected to the front triangle with a rocker that drives the shock and then a couple of links that just kind of provide lateral rigidity to the connect the two halves. Gotcha. And I think, you know, it's, it's hard to see without getting up really close to it. But when you look down in here, you kind of see where this, this main tube kind of slides in. Um, over yeah, it's anchored right here, here at the bottom. And then it's a it's a, a large a large tube that slides up into the frame. Um, it uses a, a motorcycle bushing and seal um, to keep the dirt out, and it's you know, should prove to be real durable. Um, it's got a little air release button here, so that as over time as it cycles, maybe get a little pressure build up in there, you can just release it with that. Gotcha. I haven't really experienced much need for it, but I'm, I imagine over time you probably will want to do that. Now it's got a really cool sticker on the back. You can't see it on the on the video here, but it says "Nailed It." What's yeah. a, so? What's "Nailed It"? Well, "Nailed" is the company that designed the suspension, as well as some of the other technologies on the bike. The rear axle is a nailed axle. Um, it's called 1239, and it's a a quick release through axle that you clock at 12 degrees, 3 degrees, and 9 degrees. So once you get it set up uh, with the right tension on it, you just open it up. It's got a safety catch on it. Open it up, twist it 45 degree or um, 45, 90 degrees and then slide it out and then it clocks to the same position every time. It's real cool, real simple. Gotcha. Um, and then this specific platform is the, uh, the nailed, of course, we just mentioned that and it's the react to play. Yeah. React to play is the, on this Marin Wolfridge nine here. Yeah. And how's it react is spelled R three A C T. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a crazy nomenclature, but there's, you know, everything means something in, in the name. Um, so the, the E in React is a three, which uh, has to do with Newton's third law. 
Right, so for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? right? So. And so that's where the suspension design comes into play, I guess, because of, you know some of the other standard traditional platforms, the rear wheel is kind of doing this, and then this one, and I'm backwards here, is kind of doing this, so it's kind of scooping along the trail a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the, the wheel path is controlled by these links and, and the main stanchion. Um, I can't fully explain all the magic that happens <laughs> in this thing, but you know the, the thought process is that it maintains superior traction, um, whether you're climbing, descending. Um, it has 160 millimeters of travel front and rear, so it's a lot of travel with big wheels, 29 inch wheels, um, which can lead to a pretty cumbersome bike, but this bike is super nimble. Uh, it climbs awesome. Um, it's relatively light for a bike that's this big with this much, you know, technology going on. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty amazing bike so far. And you mentioned that it climbs really well. So that's, I guess, the, the big takeaway here on this rear suspension platform um, is that it's going to stick to the trail, which means better traction and more efficiency, essentially, yeah. right? Yeah, it climbs great in the saddle or out of the saddle. Um, whereas a lot of bikes, um, you use a switch on the shock to kind of control how much uh, bobbing or um, unwanted actions going on. This doesn't have that. It's got a super simple uh, Monarch R shock, so it's just got a, a rebound dial on it cool. that you want to fidget with a little bit. But other than that, the shock's wide open all the time, and the suspension design just takes takes care of. That's cool. Yep. That's cool. So yeah, it's amazing new technology. So again, the suspension platform in the rear is designed to make you climb super efficiently. And this pretty much eliminates the need for a bunch of different bikes, right? right. Yep. Um, so this is a 29er. You could race this in the local XC race if you wanted to. You could take it up to the mountains. You're going to climb with ease. And then descending is going to be super stable and fun, right? Yeah, descending is going to be way better than anything else that climbs as good as this thing does. Yeah. You know, you might have a, a short travel, four inch, maybe five inch travel bike, but this is, you know, a full blown 160 bike that climbs like, like a goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Well, um, You've spent a lot of time on it. Uh, Mark's super impressed with it. Um, just like Marin said, it climbs great, descends great. And um, we got a cool segment we're going to put up from the local jump trails. Uh, yeah. You know, and so that was some of the feedback I think that we heard in the industry was that it maybe didn't jump that great. But, but uh, yeah, like you stick. didn't seem to have any problems yeah, with it. <laughs> it, it. It jumps pretty well. I mean, I think the, the, the idea is that. It has such good traction and um, it hugs the ground so well that it doesn't like to come off the ground, but it does. It's, it's fun to jump. Cool. It's fun to ride anywhere, everywhere. Awesome. Well, that sounds like a great new bike. Mark, uh, thanks for the feedback and your first impressions on it. Sure thing. I appreciate it. Yep. And everyone, this is the Bike Scoop Fridays from the Field. I'm Zach. This is Mark. Thanks for tuning in. And you know, join us every Wednesday at 3 p.m. on Facebook.com slash performance bike. Have a great weekend. Thanks.